Hey, Tensmith fans. Wanted to congratulate Rafa Nadal. Epic moment number 21. So 21 Grand Slam victories for my man Rafa. So he is the GOAT right now in Grand Slams of men's tennis. So I predicted it. My man Coach Goo predicted it. It was the first time that in two years that I've been on video that I've actually got a prediction right. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Coach Goo. First time. Yeah, I know. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I use, I'm, I'm usually the jinx. I usually jinx people, and they usually lose, like uh, at the U.S. Open. But we won't talk about that. Also, hey, congratulations. I said Medvedev. <laughs> you said Medvedev. I oh, said Djokovic. I'm, I'm two in a row. So, so he's two, two in, a in a row. I'm one for one. But new year, new winner. Um, we're both right in terms of Ash Barty. Yep. She's total, been playing amazing. Total domin no, Not total domination. There didn't. were chances, though. There were chances. But she played amazing. Lights out. True champ right there. So what did you think of, let's start with Barty, girls first. Um, what did you think of her performance? She dominated that first set. Yeah. Um, kind of went down 5-1 in that second. What happened in that 5-1? I mean, she fought like a true champ. That's what champions do, right? They embrace the tough moments being one down, one five, and, you know, played really high IQ tennis, played solid, played the percentages right, and took her chances when she needed to. I mean, just like a true champion. I would say. Do you think Danielle tightened up at 5-1? Mm, probably. I mean, I haven't really watched that closely to the women's side. Um, saw some highlights, though, but there, there could have been some nerves here and there. I think, you know, she could have closed it out a few times. But, um, yeah, like, I think Barty just played a solid game overall, and then, you know, sooner or later the momentum shifted, and then Sooner or later, your opponent gets tight, and it comes down to that. Right. It's so hard to close, guys. Even it, at 5-1, yeah. it's hard to close. At the professional level, too. That's tough. I mean, everyone's watching you, and, yeah, anything could happen. Like Eddie said, like, true chance, like, I think the biggest or toughest thing is definitely is learning you that you're down 1-5, and then somehow you got to come back and tough it out, and she did that really well. So I heard one of the announcers say about Barty is that she never looks for later. She never looks at the finish line. She never anticipates a win. She lives for the moment. Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah. that's what I think everybody in tennis should do. Because even if you're up five love, right, 40 love. You're already thinking about, if you think about the future already at that point, then right. you're pretty much set for failure. Exactly. So it ain't finished until it's finished. Mm -hmm. Okay? Congratulations, Ash Party. Now, for my man Rafa. Um, I'm so happy. Epic. Is so happy. Epic win. Down two sets. Yep. And battle it out. Down a break. Mm -hmm. My man fights back. He's 10 years older than Medvedev. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, did, how did my man do that? Vintage, vintage Nadal. I mean, if you know Nadal's nature of competitiveness at his level, he's pretty much insane. There's a reason why they call him the bull. I mean, the guy competes like there's no tomorrow. If he's down to love, love five even, like the guy could find a way just to be back into it. I mean, there's a reason why he's one of the big three, the goats of tennis, right? I mean, he fights his butt off. He's playing gritty points after gritty points. Um, he just plays really high percentage tennis, right? His forehand's high and heavy, high margins going cross, and you know, takes his opportunity when he takes it. And I mean, Medvedev played a great match too. I mean, came out, comes out lights firing, two sets, two to oh in sets. I mean, I mean, it kind of gave me a reminiscence of like the U.S. Open mm. when they played each other play each other in the, in the finals again. It was kind of like deja vu. But this time, you know, the dog truly deserves it, in my opinion. I mean, was injured, had surgery, was not even supposed to be in the tournament. And to be back in this, this tournament and win it and be the first man to ever win 21 Grand Slams, I mean, it's honestly an inspiration for all of us. I mean, I grew up watching him since 
I got into tennis probably like four or five years old. I mean, and it had his rackets. So yep. he's definitely an amazing player. It's truly someone I look up to, for sure. 20 years later, guys, he started at 15. I know. He's a phenomenon. If you watched, remember that Nike commercial they did about him? Oh, God. That, I mean, that, yeah. that truly represents what he is. Yeah. Such a fighter. Like, every single point, there's no... There's no leeway to anything. He just fights, fights, and fights. Yeah, he's such a humble guy, too. So yeah. he is the epitome of what men's tennis should be. So mm -hmm. congratulations, Rafa. Uh, let's not forget his tournament's coming up. That's the next slam. The yeah. French might be 22 right there. Might be. Could be a possibility. All right, guys. So congratulations, Rafa. Congratulations, Ash Barty. 2022 Australian Open Singles Champion. I want to thank my man, Coach Goo. Goo, where can we find you? You can find me at AGU's at Tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Want to support me? Well, check out my new t-shirts. I got my retro 90s rainbow connection on. Check out the Good Morning America, guys. All right, Good Morning Tennis Spin shirt over here. Got the traditional double liner just for you. Half tennis ball. And my own traditional tennis spin from my beginning. All right, check out any of these on my site, tennisspinusa.com. Buy them there. Thank you. Let's look forward to the French. We'll see you there.